Hello, my name is Dr. Bob Budak. I'm a psychiatrist in the OCD program at the University of Pittsburgh. And I want to talk today about the use of memantine and trichotillomania and skin faking disorder. This is a particularly important topic. Body focused repetitive behaviors, otherwise known as trichotillomania and skin faking disorder, among other body focused repetitive behaviors, are very common in the general population, may affect 2% or more of patients. And unfortunately, we don't have a lot in the way of evidence-based pharmacologic treatment for it. We do know that some behavioral therapies, such as habit reversal training, can help people with trichotillomania and skin faking disorder. However, to find clinicians trained in HRT is rather difficult, and the lack of pharmacologic options also makes the treatment of these disorders fairly difficult. What's more, a lot of people tend to have these disorders and won't report them to their psychiatrist or to their doctor. They often think these issues are habits and they don't recognize that there is a psychiatric disorder involved. As well, many people consider skin picking or hair pulling to be secondary to anxiety. So they will go to their psychiatrist or to their doctor and say they have a problem with anxiety, but it's only upon careful questioning that you can find out that the patients really do indeed have a skin picking or hair pulling problem. Therefore, I think it's important for clinicians to make sure that they screen for these relatively common disorders that can be very problematic, very disfiguring with disability. And yes, these problems can be severe enough that they can lead to death. And I have had patients die from body focused repetitive behaviors in the past. They can be very serious. This can happen due to infection, osteomyelitis, etc. So this paper takes a look at the double-blind placebo-controlled study of memantine in the use of trichotillomania and skin faking disorder. A little history on this is that the lead author had studied the use of N-acetylcysteine in trichotillomania and in skin faking disorder in the past. N-acetylcysteine being an over-the-counter supplement. However, it is not regulated and it's not always clear about what exactly a patient will be getting when they buy something over-the-counter. Memantine is a medication that's been used in the treatment for augmentation for OCD. It's a very safe medication. Clinicians are very familiar with it. It also acts through the glutamatergic system, just like an acetylcysteine does. And the thought was that they should give this a try to see if patients will respond to this as well. So what they did in this study was they took, it ended up being a number of 100 patients and they did a double-blind placebo-controlled study, randomized half to placebo and half to memantine. Now, they took patients who were on antidepressant medication already. Some were taking general supportive therapy. Some patients had psychotherapy that was directed at their specific trichotillomania or skin picking problem. However, the rates of medication use and psychotherapy were equivalent in both groups. They assigned 20 milligrams memantine to one group and placebo to the other. They got a pretty significant result in this study. They found that the patients who were on memantine had a significant response compared to the placebo group. So the placebo group only had 8.3% response, whereas the group on memantine had a response rate of 60%. They took a look at patients who had very severe levels of illness and the response was even better. No patients in the placebo group with a severe level of illness had a response. Whereas six of eight patients in the treatment group who were considered to be severe were responders. There were no issues with safety or tolerability with this study. There were some issues with the study that I think are worth pointing out. Again, patients were allowed to be on antidepressants and the study does not mention whether these antidepressants were serotonergic antidepressants or clomipramine, which has been shown to possibly be beneficial in some studies or whether these were non-serotonergic type antidepressants. In addition, patients were allowed to be in psychotherapy as well. In addition, there aren't really good scales for skin picking. The group used the Massachusetts General Hospital hair pulling scale, and they modified the questions for skin picking. Clinically, we know that hair pulling disorder and skin picking disorder are very similar and can be treated in a similar way, both with a clinical approach and with a treatment and medication approach. So I think that modifying an existing scale, especially because there aren't many in the way of skin picking scales being a new addition to DSM was I think a valid approach, but having the skin picking disorder scale to be validated in future studies would I think 
greater support the validity of this current study. The authors do point out that most of the patients in this study were mild to moderate level of severity of their hair pulling or skin picking. However, they did take a look at more severe cases, as was noted before. And in the future, I do think, and the authors also thought, that more severe cases should be included in further research. So I think what this study says, it's very important. They took a very serious illness that has potentially disfiguring and even fatal consequences, hair pulling and skin picking disorder, an illness that does not have much in the way of evidence-based treatment. And they took a look at a medication that's very commonly used by outpatient psychiatrist memantine that's very safe and tolerable and psychiatrists are very familiar with. And they use this medication in order to see if patients with trichotillomania or skin picking disorder would respond. And indeed, they found a very statistically significant response in a severe disorder that doesn't have a lot of pharmacological options to it. As a result, I think this is a study that got a lot of attention and deserves a lot of attention. And I do think that the use of memantine in body-focused repetitive behaviors, including trichotillomania and skin picking disorder, is warranted based on this study. Thank you very much. <music>